<laughs> well, we do have to be careful. But we also have to be enthused and be on fire with enthusiasm. It has been said among many great corporations, any person who is not fired with enthusiasm ought to be fired with enthusiasm. <laughs> so it's important for us to remember what our position is in the grand scheme of things and the fact that we are combining and merging groups and getting even bigger and even better. But that does not mean that we can let up. We still have to give the same kind of effort if we're going to move this company toward another even more successful 10 years. And I'm confident you can do that. Down through the years, some of the greatest philosophers have, have ever lived have speculated as to what are the answers to mankind's challenges. Now, there are some speakers who will call these problems. I prefer to call them challenges. Whatever you face, on the federal level, as a participant in the free enterprise system of our government, on down to your own personal level, we can face those challenges and rise up above them if we believe we can, if we set our standards high enough. I saw a sign on a man's desk one time that said, shoot for the moon, because even if you miss, you'll still land up among the stars. It's important for us to have lofty goals and don't worry if we don't quite reach those goals on occasion. Some of the greatest philosophers that have ever lived have speculated that the answer to mankind's challenges, even in this day and age, and since the beginning of 